Stars, this is your lead scientist, Miss Shirley. Today's lesson is why was John James Audubon important? In this lesson, you will learn more about John James Audubon and why he is important in science and history. John James Audubon believed science is a humor, human endeavor. People have practiced science for a long time. And John James Audubon studied nature and birds during the 1800s. His discovery have been used to prompt modern day investigations about the behavior and traits of animals. He was a naturalist and a painter. John James Audubon spent a lot of time studying birds. He was also an ornithologist, a person who studies birds, and a naturalist, a person who studies nature. He discovered that birds returned to the same place year after year. Being a painter helped Audubon study nature as he could paint what he observed and used that to record his findings. Today people would use photographs, photos, cameras to take observations of what they are experiencing in nature to go along with their written records. In our last lesson, students learned the following. The Nature Center is called an Audubon Center. It was named after a naturalist named John James Audubon. John James Audubon was so important to Miss Maddock because he was made Miss Maddock. He was what made Miss Maddock want to become a naturalist. John James Audubon was an American ornithologist, naturalist, and painter. His combined interest in art and ornithology turned into a plan to pictures drawn and colored by hand to record all the bird species of North America. Let's introduce some words we need to learn for this lesson. A naturalist is a person who studies plants and nature. A naturalist might study animals and where they live. An ornithologist is a person who studies or is an expert on birds. Okay, science explorers, we're going to learn more about why was John James Audubon important? And also explore so, and investigate some questions about John James Audubon. I'm going to read this passage. John James Audubon was a naturalist and painter. He lived during the time when the United States of America was a new country. He spent a lot of time observing birds in their natural habitats. Audubon made paintings of birds in their habitats. He even tied strings around the legs of some birds so that he could track them. He found that the birds returned to the same place year after year. Lucy Bakewell Audubon, Audubon's wife, was a teacher. She taught a student named George Bird Grinnell. Grinnell went on to form a group to study and protect birds. Grinnell named the group the Audubon Society. The Audubon Society still studies and protects birds, their habitats, and wildlife. Let's watch this video on John James Audubon. John James Audubon was born in what is now Haiti, but his mother died very soon after he was born, so his father took him home to France, and he grew up in the port city of Nantes. His father was a sea captain. He was accepted into the family, even though he was really the son of the captain's mistress. That's where he developed a love for the outdoors and brought that with him when he came to the United States in 1803. He became quite a successful businessman running a shop in Louisville. He opened a number of different concerns, but in 1819, all of those went bankrupt. And it's at that point that he decides that he's going to create this compendium of all the birds of America. He seemed to always have a dog and a gun, and that's about all he needed. He was very self-sufficient. In the beginning, he had difficulty finding support among the American scientific or artistic community. To find a printer, Audubon had to go to Europe where he wasn't known and could invent himself. It really isn't until he starts donning his American woodsman outfit that people really start to take notice of him. He could play a crowd. He's very much uh, somebody who could use his charisma to get what he wanted to a degree. 
He was seen as a bit of a curiosity, this genius from the wilderness, and therefore had no trouble raising money through subscriptions. When he came back then to the United States, he was embraced by the American scientific community, who had ignored him earlier. Even before the last plate was off the press, Audubon conceived a notion of producing a much smaller version of the Birds of America, which would be a popular edition. He also embarked to draw all the quadrupeds of America, and that really occupied him for the rest of his active life. He began having mental and wellness problems in 1845 and died six years later. Okay, science explorers, let's explore some questions about John James Audubon. What did John James Audubon do? Think, 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 science explorers. Write your response. What animal did John James Audubon spend a lot of time studying? Think, 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 science explorers. Write your response. What did John James Audubon discover about birds? Think, 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 science explorers, write your response. And to summarize, in what way do you think being a painter helped Audubon study nature? Think, 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 science explorers, write your response. And finally, what do you think of today's lesson? Okay, Science Explorers, today we learned more about John James Audubon and why he was important in science and in history. Okay, until next time, ciao for now.